the interfacing of a four-digit seven-segment display using the MAC7219 will be presented. The MAC7219 is a very versatile IC that allows interfacing up to eight digits of seven-segment displays to a microcontroller or a microprocessor. Also in this video, external interrupts in Arduino Nano will be demonstrated. External interrupts are useful in monitoring real-world events. The Nano can accept two interrupts through digital pins 2 and 3. Interrupts allow an external signal, say from a sensor, to immediately pause the main code running in the microcontroller so that an interrupt service routine can be executed. When the interrupt service routine is done, the main code resumes until another interrupt occurs. The MAC7219 is a serial input-output common cathode display driver. Its interface with the Arduino Nano is quite easy. Only three digital lines are required, namely line for data, line for clock, and line for chip enable. The datasheet of the MAC7219 provides all the information needed to achieve the interface. A 10 kilo ohm pot is connected to an analog pin of the Arduino that provides DC voltage from 0 to 5 volts. The DC voltage is converted to an integer number from 0 to 1023 through a 10-bit ATD converter inside the Arduino. This number is then displayed on the 7-segment screen. A tactile push button is connected to digital pin 2 of the Arduino. The pulse coming from the switch acts as an external interrupt signal that will execute the interrupt service routine, which will then cause the blue LED to flash. When we switch on the circuit, the default value displayed on the 7-segment screen is the integer value between 0 and 1023. Notice this value is slightly fluctuating due to the noise and the DC voltage coming from the potentiometer. Pressing this button starts a count up from 0 to 9999. We can exit the count by pressing another button. We can also have a countdown. Finally, pressing the interrupt button causes the count to immediately pause while the LED is flashing. The count then resumes. In a future video, I'll demonstrate external interrupts through real-world applications. Thank you for watching.